Uh, good morning, everybody. I'll now recognize myself for five minutes. Uh, General Kurilla, I'm extremely concerned about the rapid progress Iran has made on its nuclear program. Earlier this month, the IAEA said that Iran has produced uranium particles that were enriched up to 83.7 percent. Last week, you testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee that Tehran can now produce sufficient fissile material for a nuclear weapon in less than 14 days. Iran is on the brink of being a nuclear weapon state, which would change the security layout of the Middle East in unpredictable ways. So, General, what activities or plans are you engaged in to reinforce U.S. deterrence and convey to Iran that acquiring nuclear weapons will not be in its best interest? Uh, thank you, Congressman. I mean, the U.S. policy is Iran will not have a nuclear weapon. I think anything about plans that we have against any nuclear program would be best in a classified setting. Thank you, and we will bring, it, <laughs> bring that topic up in the classified setting. And Dr. Wallander, you, do you have anything to add to that here in this public setting? Just to endorse uh, or support your assessment of the, of the challenge and to reiterate that the role of the Department of Defense is to provide the Secretary of Defense and the President with military options for the prevention of uh, Iran's uh, acquisition of nuclear weapons. Okay, well, thank you both. Further on Iran, uh, they are posturing to be more than just a regional challenge. Over the course of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Iran has increasingly provided military support to Russia uh, specifically drones. Uh, Russia is planning to provide Iran with advanced capabilities, including military fighter jets, helicopters, and air defense systems. So, uh, and they're also planning to jointly build a drone factory inside Russia that would produce thousands of drones per year. Uh, this has more than just regional impact for Iran. So how is CENTCOM posturing to respond to this increasing collaboration between Iran and Russia, and what do you ex assess the implications to be for the region? Uh, Congressman, it is very concerning with this relationship that Iran and Russia have. Um, we are seeing them move the uh, UAVs to Russia, be able to use them in Ukraine, and these are the very same UAVs that they use to attack our forces in Iraq and Syria, and they're improving upon them. And we are seeing, we saw Iranian state media publicly announce that they'll be getting um, SU-35, which is a fourth-gen plus um, fighter aircraft. They'll be providing those. We think that'll happen at some point this year. Um, and it is this closer collaboration between two adversaries that is, that is concerning. What we are doing is building the regional partnerships uh, in the region to, to be able to counter that. And what about the, I think it's called the S-400 air defense system that Russia is saying it will provide to Iran? Uh, we have not seen the S-400 uh, be provided to Iran, but Iran also produces uh, very capable indigenous air defense systems as well. Thank you. And Dr. Wallander, do you have anything to add to what General Carilla just said? I just want to uh, um, especially note the importance of the work of CENTCOM in creating regional constructs for integrating and improving the capabilities of partners in the region to push back uh, and defend against the growing threat of Iran. Thank you. Um, and lastly, General Carilla, there are numerous efforts underway in Congress this year to enhance U.S. and Israeli collaboration on future warfare technologies. I have a lengthy amendment in the NDAA on this, for instance. This would include working together on directed energy, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, missile defense, space, and other cutting-edge programs. Do you support efforts to provide Israel with additional capabilities to ensure that it can effectively respond to enhanced Iranian threats uh, that we've been already talking about? Um, thank you, Congressman. We are committed to the defense of Israel. We work very, very closely with them and a lot of their, uh, um, their new technologies. Um, I have been to the country multiple times and looked at everything from their ballistic missile defense, their their counter UAS and a lot of their advanced technologies like their uh, iron beam that they are coming out with. And we also are coming out with our own directed energy systems as well. Excellent. And Dr. Wallander, anything to add to that? Um, 
you know, the United States is, has an ironclad commitment to the defense of Israel and uh, manifested most recently in the extraordinarily successful exercise Juniper Oak, which exercised and demonstrated the level of interoperability uh, and capability and the ability of the United States, CENTCOM in particular, to surge that capability and work closely with uh, Israel to, uh, to exercise and also demonstrate that capability. Very good. Thank you all for being here. I uh, now recognize uh, Representative Courtney for five minutes. 